Once upon a time, there was a woman named Maya who wanted to throw a surprise 80th birthday party for her friend Amy. Amy hadn't seen her daughter and grandchildren in a long time, so Maya thought it would be a wonderful idea to invite them to the party. Since Amy is already 80 years old and might not have many birthdays left, Maya decided to write a letter to Amy's daughter a month before the party asking them to come and join in the celebration. Just a few days before Amy's birthday, Maya received a letter from Amy's daughter saying that they wouldn't be able to make it to the party. Amy found the letter and was deeply saddened and heartbroken. Maya tried to comfort her friend saying, I guess children have their own lives to live. We sometimes forget that. Don't worry. I'm sure they will come on Christmas Day. But as she began talking about her own children, she noticed that Amy had passed away in her armchair. Shortly after, a funeral was held, and many people from the town, including Amy's daughter and family, attended. The daughter was overcome with sorrow upon hearing the news, burdened by feelings of guilt for not having visited her mother in all those years. The family came together, sharing kind words about Amy and reminiscing fondly about the memories they shared with her. As the priest began to deliver a heartfelt service, a little girl approached Maya and asked, What are they doing? They're saying their goodbyes. Maya replied gently. The little girl pondered for a moment and asked, but what good does it do when she can't hear them? Why couldn't they come to her birthday? Maya paused for a second, considering her response. You can miss a birthday and nobody says much, but you can't miss a funeral. The little girl was puzzled. But why not? She asked. Maya sighed softly. That's just the way grown-ups are. She said with a hint of sadness in her voice. The little girl nodded thoughtfully and said, Hmm, it ought to be the other way around. Maya nodded in agreement, saying, A lot of things in life ought to be the other way around. The little girl's eyes sparkled with a newfound idea. We ought to have our funerals while we're still alive, so we could say goodbye to everybody. It's an idiotic convention of the grown-up world that your loved ones only come to see you when you're dead, instead of when you can hold them, love them, and talk to them. Sometimes you don't hear from people for a long time, either because they're too busy or simply don't make the time. You can't sleep at night thinking of them. And when death comes to you, the one thing that'll bring them to you is your own funeral. Because it's expected. Because it's a sin not to. They'll bear tears and say all the nicest things, but we'll not be there to hear any of it. They come to see your corpse, but not your flesh and blood. Treasure the time you have with loved ones, and never wait for a special occasion to show them how much they mean to you. Life is unpredictable, so make every moment count by expressing love and appreciation while you can. Seize the opportunity to create lasting memories with loved ones now rather than regretting missed chances later. This is Dharma Stories. Thank you for watching.